And there it is, a three foot long Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. It's our largest venomous snake that we have in the United States. Teams at the Francis Marion National Forest are using technology to tag and track the rattlesnakes. Not all that different, but much bigger than a microchip in your pet. A transmitter, which is implanted in your target snake, a receiver, uh, which picks up the signal given by the transmitter, and of course, an antenna and lead wire. In the past three weeks, they found four diamondbacks, but only one was big enough to be tagged and tracked. That'll give us the opportunity to track that snake's movements um, and, uh, and see what type of habitats it's using on the forest. Francis Marion forest biologist already, Mark Danaher uh, says the diamondback is found mostly in the southeastern region of the U.S. Danaher says these snakes don't go after people unless they're provoked. A venomous snake is no different than, say, a hornet's nest or a wasp's nest. Uh, nobody would go up and, and, and bat or try to, you know, um, handle a, a hornet's nest. So. The same care should be given to, to a snake. Danaher is hoping our state will follow the lead of North Carolina and add the diamond back to the endangered species list. I know a lot of people are going to be asking, why would we care about a venomous snake like the eastern diamondback rattlesnake? He says the answer is quite simple. It's all about balance of the ecosystem. If you take a species like the eastern diamondback out of the, out of the ecosystem, your rodent and rat populations could go sky high.